Hey guys, it's me Nikki Z and I am here to do a very quick tutorial for you guys and the look that I have right here um, is basically using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette which is one of my top picks for fall of course and the e.l.f. Need It Nude Lipstick. This is the moisturizing lipstick. Oh my god. Yeah, or sorry, not Need It Nude. It's in the nude. My bad. It's been one of those days. It's past 2 a.m., guys. Like, I am tired, but I'm still awake and drinking coffee because that's just what I do. And I have here a blush by e.l.f. This is a cream blush from the studio line in Vixen, which is just a beautiful very sexy warm flush to the cheeks it's it's a nice nice blush um, other than that I'm using a ColourPop highlighter here it's a super shock cheek and wisp which is super pretty um, an urban decay liner and this is in twice baked the elf mineral eyeshadow primer of course because that's my jam and that's what I use and the elf uh, mineral infused mascara and for the other eyeliner that I'm using it is the um, Lancome Le Crayon Coal in Black Coffee and then I am using the MAC Fluid Line in Dip Down which is a very deep brown uh, so that's most of the products that I'm using to achieve this look if you guys have any questions comments or concerns you guys know how to reach me and I hope you guys enjoy the video Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is prime your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, and this is in the shade Sheer. I will be applying this to my entire eyelid all the way to my brows, of course. And I will be patting this in and letting it set for a little bit about 60 seconds to 90 seconds before I apply any type of eyeshadow because I do not want it to be streaky, patchy, or crazy looking. So we're going to let this dry first before we have the most fun ever. So go ahead and just pat that in, let it set, and then we'll be moving on to the very next step. Okay, so the next step, of course, I will be using a MAC fluid line and this is in the shade Dip Down which is just like a creamy gel liner and it's brown. You do not have to use the MAC one obviously. Get yourself a gel liner and you have to work very very quickly with this. So I'm taking a paddle C brush. This is from e.l.f. I'm going to grab just a little bit of this product on the brush. And this is where we're going to have a lot of fun. Go ahead and get a blending brush ready. Have it close by. I'm going to take that brown and I will be applying it to my eyelid. I will be stopping at the crease. But just make sure that you cover the entire lid itself. And you get very close to the lash line. Alright, now I'm going to take that fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that out very, very quickly. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm pulling a little bit of that brown upwards into the crease and a little bit past. Now as you can see, it's not a lot of product that's going upwards, just a little bit, which is completely fine. like so and this is where we're gonna have a little bit more fun I'm gonna go ahead and take the Smashbox full exposure palette here there is a beautiful deep brown shade right here um, in the palette it is M1 so matte one I will be grabbing some of that and applying it on the inner part of my lid I will be applying it to the outer edge of my lid and then I'm going to grab 
quite a bit of product and I will be applying that to the crease. So the dark brown that we applied, um, the gel liner, was basically a base for this. Just leave the center of the eyelid bare so that way it's just the gel liner there. And I will show you why here in a little bit. So take that fluffy brush as you see that I'm doing, as you see that I'm doing, um, go ahead and just kind of blend out that brown eyeshadow. Blend it upwards and outwards, of course. This is going to create a nice brown, subtle, smoky eye. And what we're going to do next, this is where it's going to get real fun. We are going to take the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I'm grabbing a paddle brush here. I'm going to get my brush wet, and then I will be dipping it into this very pretty, shimmery, kind of coppery looking shade. It's like a, or maybe, I guess it is kind of more like, a, maybe it's more of a bronze, I guess. Um, it's very neat. This is the S2 or Shimmer 2 shade. So you gotta work rather quickly with this as well, of course. Fan my brush off a little bit and grab some of that color. Now, I will be applying this directly to the center of my eyelid. I'm just going to be patting it. So this is more of a halo eye. Um, I'm getting very close to the inner and outer edge, but I'm not actually putting it in that area. So concentrate just on the center of the eyelid itself. And stop at the crease, of course. Grabbing a little bit more, just for a little bit more of a sparkle. Like so. And then I'm going to take another shade from this palette. It is the very light matte shade here. Um, that's M4 or matte 4, I do believe. Yes. So I'm going to grab some of that. And I will be applying this right under my brows. This palette is just beautiful. I am so excited for fall and I love this palette during fall. So this is another one of my top palettes for fall. All right, I'm gonna pat just a little bit down into the brown, but not so much. You kinda of want that brown to, uh, oh, what's the word? Why am I having a hard time with this? You kinda of want the brown to still be there and hang out. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take my fluffy brush again and just kind of blend a little bit into that light color that we just applied. So that way it's still smoky. Um, obviously you want to make sure both of your eyes match. I might add a little bit more brown just to uh, be on the safe side. I kind of feel like it's not as dark as the other eye. So, whoops, that happens sometimes. I need to get some lights over here on this side so I can actually make sure <laughs> that everything is equal. I basically have them over here and then one right in front of me, which doesn't really help when it comes to that, but you know. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and take an even bigger fluffy brush and actually I didn't do this to the side either so I need to do that real fast kinda just run it through a few times just to kinda help situate all of that 
And now we're gonna have a little bit more fun. I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner. This is from Urban Decay. It is twice baked. And I will be running this right underneath my eye along my lower lash line. Like so. And then I'm gonna take it's a rather big brush, actually, um, but it has a pointy tip, and it's very soft. So I'm going to use that to kind of smudge that out. I do have a few smaller brushes to do this with, but I tried it on the other eye, and I felt like for that area, the one that I was using was really harsh. It was just kind of tugging and pulling and... Well, we don't want that, so I decided to go with this big boy. Anywho, now I'm going to go ahead and take a mascara, or actually get my mascara ready, and I will be lining my waterline first before I apply the mascara. For the mascara, I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara, as always, and for the waterline, I am using the Lancome Paris. Um, Le Crayon, Le Crayon, Coal and Black Coffee, which is like a very deep brown. So after I apply that, I go ahead with that mascara. I'm not lining my upper lash line. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I feel like the glitter is pretty dramatic and my lids are somewhat hooded. So I really don't want to take away from the shine that the glitter actually brings to my lids. Shazam! So that is basically the eye right there in a nutshell. It's super, super simple. Now for the rest of the face, actually I'm going to scooting around all crazy like here. I'm going to grab a little bit of coffee because I kind of need it. <sighs> Power juice. Okay, and I actually used an e.l.f. blush. This is the cream blush and Vixen. The cream blushes are perfect for fall and winter because they do stick. They stick on your skin a lot better than some of the powder blushes by e.l.f. Um, I just prefer creams during winter and fall. It's just a thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? Anywho, I'm going to apply just a little bit because this bad boy is so pigmented that it's very, very easy to get carried away. So go ahead and just a little bit ahead of time. Add a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. Like so, it brought a little bit of warmth to my otherwise fairly pale skin. And I'm using kind of a dark highlighter. Um, I just kind of wanted to mix a little bit of it with that blush. So I'm using a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This is in Wisp, which is a very pretty golden kind of color. Um, after I'm done with this, I will finish one more thing on my eye. I can't believe I forgot that. I feel so silly. So I'm sorry, guys. I had a moment you know, moments happen. Um, I'm going to grab some of this gold highlighter and I will be applying it just on the very top of my cheeks where that blush kind of starts and I will be applying quite a bit actually because I'm going to be blending it in with my finger. So I applied it there I'm going to soften it just a little bit very gently 
So it's in like a really nice, very subtle sheen. I really like this actually quite a bit. And now to go back and do the one step that I forgot because I'm silly and I'm sorry guys. It's past 2 a.m. and I'm still awake doing makeup because I missed it for the past like two weeks. Um, I'm going to take a tiny little brush. I'm going to get it wet with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And I'm going to grab some of this color right here. Um, it is the Shimmer 3 from the Smashbox palette, which is this one. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that color. In all seriousness, this palette is just beautiful when it's used wet. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually going to go in and just put it on the inner corner, like the very inner corner, like the tear duct area. And that's it. It's just gonna help bring a little bit of light, um, a little bit of a pop, and just to make it even because this one looks like it could use a little bit more. Her -da -der, I'm not really prepared. Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> Anywho, so that is officially the finished eye look. Um, I haven't decided on what kind of lipstick to wear yet, so I'm going to take a look and pick out something pretty, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we have a winner. I am going to use the MAC, and this is the Lip Liner in Subculture, and I will be pairing it with the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in, in the Nude, because that is just a beautiful shade, and I feel like it'll help balance the dark eye a bit. So, I will actually be applying the lip liner to the entire lips, like all over, and the lipstick there will be a nice like addition to top it off with. Okay, now it's time for the lipstick. This smells so good. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Like, I just, I love this lipstick. It is nice. So that is going to be the finished look. Um, it was super, super easy, guys. Super simple. This is perfect for parties. Um, I don't know. Any, any type of, like, festive holiday thing. Obviously with a little bit of, like, um, the shimmer and then the deep brown. It's perfect for fall. So you can definitely ring in the new year with it as well. Um, it's just kind of a seasonal. I don't know. I like it. Oh, well. Anywho, um, yeah, so this is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, um, or I mean, yeah, I guess it is a new day. It's past two. I had to think about that for a second. But, yeah, so cheers, and I'll see you guys in my next video.